This is a sad situation. It's a troubling situation about a band that has meant a lot to me over the years, Puddle of Mud. I've had Wes Scantlin on the channel before at a time when he was said to be doing well, and that does not appear to be the case currently. Now, to make sure, I reached out to Wes Scantlin's representatives to give him an opportunity to respond to what is being said about the band, what is being said about him specifically. I reached out last night and I haven't heard anything back. And uh, it's a little disappointing because what is said to have gone on is that Puddle of Mud, right on the heels of releasing a brand new album, the album is out now called Ubiquitous, the band has abruptly canceled all of their scheduled performances. There has not been any explanation for that. And it does not appear to be good. Now, the picture this paints goes back to my own personal experience seeing the band live last year and also the experience of this well-known venue that's speaking out and also an incident earlier this year. I want to bring your attention to Wes Scantlin being arrested earlier this year in February for showing up at a home in Hollywood at around 11 a.m., where he was taken to jail on a misdemeanor trespassing charge. It is said that he allegedly showed up at an old home that he lost to foreclosure. Now, Wes was released on his own recognizance after that. And according to Radar Online, a woman posted to TikTok that a famous rock singer showed up to her home and he refused to leave. He had been camped outside, it said, and allegedly threatened the maid. This arrest essentially took place after several years of Wes appearing to be on the mend from the issues he had been dealing with. And unfortunately, this was very concerning. And now again, we have more concerning information about Puddle of Mud abruptly canceling these shows. So now yesterday you have a concert venue blasting Wes Scantlin in a statement uh, this is a well-known and well-respected concert venue known as the Machine Shop in Flint, Michigan. You've probably heard of them. And they posted a message online about this abrupt cancellation for a show, uh, apparently two shows that was scheduled to take place later this week. Now, as I understand it, this is particularly maddening for a concert venue when you book a show on a weekend and that is a major source of their income alcohol sales, things like that. Their venue is now left without programming on a weekend where they should be open and making money. So that can cause significant financial hardship. This is what they said in their statement about West Scantlin, and uh, they did not hold anything back in this message. The statement says, Puddle of Mud has canceled all their upcoming concerts, including the shows September 15th and 16th at the Machine Shop. Two days in a row they had shows lined up that are now canceled. Now I looked at their schedule, their website has no tour dates, but when you go to their Bands in Town profile, it shows that they were scheduled to play 15th and 16th in Flint, Michigan. They were scheduled to play September 29th in Massachusetts. Uh, in Ohio on October 28th and November 17th in Illinois. So they go on to add in their statement, this is not a due to circumstances beyond our control cancellation. This is 100% Wes, the machine shop, his band, agents, and everyone involved are very disappointed. We will not be postponing the shows as we are not ever rescheduling Puddle of Mud. All tickets purchased through eTix will be automatically refunded. All hard tickets can be refunded at point of purchase. Thank you. And please know that all of us at the machine shop appreciate your support and understanding. You know, even in my own experience, I went to see them. I try to go see Puddle of Mud whenever they come through town. And, uh, you know, I saw them over the last few years uh, several times. And the band was great. And Wes was in good shape. And uh, unfortunately... Around a year ago, I saw them and he was very angry on stage. He was lashing out at the sound person and he appeared to end the show early. And that is a essentially a cliche at this point with Wes Scantlin that he will get pissed off on stage and end the show early. And I think it's getting to a point for him where you are doing serious damage to your career if this continues and you are 
undermining probably, you know, I, I feel as though Puddle of Mud should be way bigger than they are now. He hasn't done any promotion from what I have seen for this new album, Ubiquitous. I attempted to have him on the channel to talk about this record. And it's just sad. It's very sad to see someone who I believe is very capable of writing some really good songs, really not reaching their full potential and hopefully everything is okay with him. So it's, it's, it's a bummer y'all. It's a bummer. I really like puddle of mud and uh, I would love to hear from Wes and have him. He's welcome on the channel and I will always treat him with respect. And uh, you know, it's just one of those things y'all where, where we want uh, this, this musician who has done, so many great songs to be all right. This is just one of those things, you know, I have a real soft spot for Puddle of Mud. I love their song Blurry. I love Drift and Die. I love Control. Uh, you know, I mean, Spin You Around. They've written so many good songs. Famous. And uh, I just, it seems like Wes might be going through some shit again. And uh, he was, seemed to be on a good path for a period of time and it's never too late to get right back on that good path. And there's a lot of people who want to see you succeed. You know, and just another thing, every time I've ever seen the band perform as well, the group is always very professional. The rest of the band, this is a band that has, at times they've walked off and left Wes on the stage when he has gone off on people and, and things like that. And, and so these are pros as well. And, and, and it's sad y'all. It's sad. I really like Puddle of Mud and uh, you know, uh, it's just one of those things where you're abruptly canceling shows right after your new album came out and the machine shop says they will never book them again, y'all. So let me know what you think down in the comments. As always, be sure to subscribe for the latest news and updates here at Rockfeed.